Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission of Mac Tech Keyboards and today I'm coming with you feeling much better. Still not over it, but my voice is at least coming back to normal. So today we're taking a look at a keyboard I know very little about. Um, uh, last month, a little over a month ago, we celebrated a one year anniversary of Budget Keeps. Uh, so I reached out to some of the vendors that we have uh, relationships with and some of them provided some gifts uh, to give away uh, to our members. We were able to give away several keyboards and keycap sets, some artisans, um, which was uh, kindly donated from uh, vendors that we we've all dealt with them. And, you know, there's no vendor that never has a mistake but it's how they handle their mistakes. So we like to keep that up to date. So if you see the sidebar in our budget keeps, you'll see vendors that, you know, that we're, we have a good relationship with. And, and there's even been times where myself or another moderator has stepped in to help a customer with an issue and kind of just been an in-between and has helped find a reasonable solution for both parties. So not to get too much into it, but one of the keyboards that was offered up was the Atom 60 and I hadn't heard about it. And uh, this is Boyu, who, um, it's a long story, but we've, um, he has several keyboard companies. Anyway, he was like, well, it's one year anniversary. It's kind of like a anniversary for you as well, isn't it? I'm like, well, yeah, but I'm not, you know, looking to prize myself anything. He's like, well, how about I give you two? One for you and one for the winner. And I was like, okay. So he did not ask for a review or anything. I'm just kind of excited to take a look at this. I don't know if this is a keyboard I would have bought on my own, uh, but it is uh, something a little bit different. So, um, and well, I did have some Lego pieces and my kid took them back. So, uh, and you'll see why Lego is important. So anyway, let's go ahead and open this up. This is uh, from KBD Craft. Um, so, hello, Adam. So, KBD Craft is a new company. He's had several companies, um, and this is one of them. Um, so, but uh, I think uh, one of the last keyboards I reviewed from him was the Soda 68, which is a well-built keyboard. I just think that um, it was kind of already modded. Um, it was a little bit higher priced, but, I mean, it really was good to go out of the box some stabilizers to keycaps everything so um but and don't get me wrong i like that keyboard i just thought it was a, a little bit higher price now this one i believe retails for this is a 60 percent that comes as a base kit or bare bone kit 59 dollars, and the full kit which i assume is uh switches and keycaps for 99 dollars um for a 60 percent that appears to be very well built. Um, it has a gasket mount ability. It comes with a palm plate and it comes with QMK and hot swap sockets. And it's a screw, screw free build. You can also change out colors because I guess you know, it being Lego. So I'm probably gonna have to end up just going and picking up my own set of, set of Legos <laughs> for myself. Oh, and there's his name, creator, Boyu. Right, so let's open her up and see what we've got here. Okay, so it looks like we have got, oh cool. We definitely have the full kit. So we've got two different sets of keycaps here. Oh, and this is the actual tape. <laughs> oh, it, 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 this is a Lego keyboard. And we even have the switches. I wonder what kind of switches these are. These feel very similar to an Akko Silver. It's a light linear and it's buttery smooth and no spring paint to speak of. Doesn't look like they're lubricated, but uh, that's one smooth um, 
switch that, but let's put you aside. So it looks like today we'll be building some Legos. <laughs> These are stabilizers. Oh, and he even includes loop. I gotta say, I mean, that, this is pretty cool. This is this is something interesting. I was not expecting this. Um, this is a pretty cool little experience. Okay, so we got a coiled cable. all these pieces and then we have obviously the instructions for everything assemble the core and build your atom all right so it shows that we have poron piece a hot swap pcb so that should all be under here yep A 64 key 60 percent we have south facing rgbs um, there's a reset button because we do have qmk and now it is gasket mount so i'm hoping that there's some room because the there's no daughter board but i am sure we will see as we move forward here so this is a first usually i can just take a look at it and be like all right this is what we got to do so this is saying to go ahead and build it, put it all together first, and then build a case around it. Okay. It's recommended to go from edge to center. So basically they're just saying find a flat surface. Stabilizers taken care of. Let's go ahead and pop these into the plate. So those all seem to be in place. Now put this all together. I'm just going to use a couple of cheapy switches just to get the corners in, in case I bend some more pens. And then I will replace them, because this is going to be a bit tricky to get just right now, because it has to be aligned just so. I 
going in. Let's try another corner. All right, and there we are. It actually feels quite well. I mean, that, that pour-on pad is, is definitely very thick. Um, they give you just enough keys, or I mean switches. It would be nice. I usually like to roughly give an extra key per 20, 25 keys, or switch, an extra switch for every 20 to 25 switches you need to use on the keyboard, just in case switches go bad, pens get bent, but all right, so we have gotten the core of this atom put together. One PCB, one pour on piece. Let's see what this first. Okay, so we've got the core handled. And now we have build your atom. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is a, uh, yeah, this is gonna be interesting. Looks like these gaskets actually go over Lego pieces. And it looks like we have five on top and five on the bottom. And it looks like they go on the inside ones. So um, let's uh, go ahead and check these out. Sometimes I wish I had more nails. <laughs> All right, so one goes right here. All right, step five. Make sure that the core parts, stabilizers, and switches are well assembled. Put the core in the case after you finish this step. All right. All right, so it says after this step that it's good to put the core, which this is what they're calling this. So. I gotta say that is an interesting flex mount, but it, it does flex. I mean, it's not super flexy, but you're definitely getting that gasket feeling. It's very interesting. I find this design very interesting. I mean, it's a little bit more work than I'm used to, but I'm happy about it. All right, so now it looks like we start building up the top. Let's get this back out. Wow, and there we go. There is the built, well, almost built, Adam 60. Excuse me. 
Adam 64. The Adam. I'm still not sure if they have it in both versions. All right, so I think we just have two colorways that are separated out here. But these do appear to be double shot. All right. Appear to be double shot, but only on the top um, PBT. They're pretty lightweight, and the body is just under, or maybe a millimeter thick. I will measure them later on, but let's see. Doesn't sound half bad. So let's go ahead and load this puppy up. And here we are, folks. Here is the built Adam uh, 64, I think. Or I don't know if it's called the Adam 60. I mean, it's a 64 key, uh, 60%. But um, it was an interesting build. I've got to say one of the more interesting builds that I've done because <laughs> it's been a few years since I've gotten to play with Legos. But let me go ahead. All right, well, let me clean all this up, and um, I'll be right back with a... Uh, with the sound test. Oh, well that's actually pretty cool. I like that it's red, that is different. It does come with a switch keycap puller, which I hadn't noticed. Um, one of the better ones, the, the metal's not too pliable. And it has a nice little tag. I like that it has these little covers on there for dust protection, though I'm afraid they'll get lost. Um, and I mean, it is very, it, it is much thinner than your average USB cable, but um, it's a cute little cable. And, and, and in my mind, it kind of matches the retro kind of look that this keyboard's going for. But anyways, I just wanted to go ahead and show that. Clean this up. Again, I am using a new microphone, but, um, should the sound test not come out very good, I will redo the sound test. But um, the only thing that I'd say is that these should probably come with some sort of plastic bumpers because they're kind of it's kind of slidey, especially on on my surface here. But they have a little bit more edge and some grip. Now I do have some bumpers around here, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the sound test stock and see where we're at. Um, make sure all these keys are pressed down. All right, well, um, I didn't stop recording. <laughs> I have to forget to hit certain keys when I have it plugged in if I have it up on OBS because I'll end up stopping recording. So anyway, this was a fun little build, I've got to say. I mean, definitely different than your average keyboard build. It was way more, I mean, I, I gotta be honest, I felt a lot more like a kid um, because, you know, doing the Lego. And Lego is, uh, I found this to be an interesting build. I'm not necessarily a biggest fan of 60, but I do like 64 keys, 60% because they have the arrow keys. And I mean, yes, I know I can use WASD, but I, I prefer it this way. So anyway, I'm gonna leave you guys with a sound test for this keyboard. I'm probably gonna come back to it, do a Tempest tape mod, maybe even a PE foam mod, and maybe try to get some more sound out of it. But I think it's gonna sound pretty good, just stock, I mean, stock built. Anyway, until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.